Um, why don't they just say, it's wonderful? Nate smiled. They say it's the most correct and ample book on navigation, on navigation in existence. From the East India Marine Society, that's praise. It's worth a 10-gun salute from any other men. Tomorrow, the manuscript goes to Mr. Blunt. Holly smiled. Well, that's done. It's just begun. Now I start proofreading. Won't Mr. Blunt do that? Blunt do that? No one will proofread the book but me. How long will it take you? A month? Nate chuckled and shook his head. Bless you, Polly. I'll be lucky if it only takes a year. When Nate was not too busy with checking on the book, he did have time to enjoy his friends in Salem. He had long talks with Dr. Hollyoke. What an amazing man he was. In 1799, he had celebrated 50 years of practice in Salem, and he declared that he felt he could keep on for 50 more. One evening, he visited with Nate and Polly, and the talk turned to astronomy and, and Cadiz. Like to see that observation again, Nate? He asked. Yes, but I probably won't. Polly said, he's swallowed the anchor. He's a capitalist now. Dr. Hollyoak chuckled and then scowled when a knock came on the door. Might as well answer it for you, Polly. It's, it'll be someone for me. A doctor never spends a whole evening without an interruption. He, but it was someone to see Nate, Zach Selby. Zach was out of his breath with running. Big pig eyes were gloating. He could not wait to tell his news. The John had been stove in, the, which means it had sunk. That's his new ship that he had just bought. The crew had been rescued by another boat and just brought back to Salem. But you fellows lost your shirts. Zach gloated. So gloats, glo to gloat means to be like he's happy for their misfortune, which is very sad. It shows mm -hmm. bad character on Zach's part. When I'm sorry, so let me just finish this. But you fellows lost your shirts, Zach gloated, when the John went down. Dr. Hollyoak's eyes blazed. He doubled his fists. So he's angry that Zach is being so inconsiderate in the way he's telling them this bad news. Holly squeezed Nate hand, Nate's hand. You're sure all the men are safe? Thank God for that. So that really shows Holly's character, that she's not worried about the, the a, a ship is a thing. She's worried about people's lives, which are the most important thing, of course. Zach sidled to the door before his, he fired his parting shot. Thanks to God, maybe. No thanks to books. And he scuttled out. So Zach is um, Lem's brother-in-law, right? So he's just bitter because Lem died um, because of book sailing. And again, it just shows he's... he's kept bitterness in his heart, which is um, sad for him. Okay, so that's the end of chapter 21. So we'll do 22 later soon, okay? Bye, you guys.